just launched the app and the major difference between Uber, Lyft, and Lime is that the scooters don't come to you. But it's coming. You know that's coming. I'm in Denver, as you can see. I'm trying to find these scooters. That's my first maybe little critique is that I'm having a little trouble locating one. And then once you, you know, somebody could easily swipe it up right when you're getting close. So anyway, we're gonna try and find a scooter, but I can't, I haven't found one yet. At least I'm not fighting for parking. If I'm reading the app correctly, there should be a scooter right around this corner. Let's see. Just ran into this, uh, what are you guys called? Just scooters. I like a little scooter gang. Just ran into a scooter gang in downtown Denver. You guys, you guys didn't show me anything. Whoa! Sweet! As far as like, are you, do you know if you're allowed to use them in bike lanes? You're supposed to. You're supposed to. Yeah. And uh, Broadway, it's all red on the app. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. That's the problem. I just got shouted down by someone on the competitor to Lime. It's called Bird. And they're like, birds are better than Lime. Oh man, I see these scooters putting this out of business. Hopefully you can practice on this one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I I have. Long, that's what I have. And some guy came up. He's like, I just walked three blocks for this one. It's like oh, on the oh like, no. Oh. <laughs> All right. Good luck. Okay, thanks. Sidewalk. All right, I better get in the bike lane. Hold on. Nimble, agile, and fast. Well, 18 miles per hour fast. Not bad. That's not bad for a scooter, right? And I'm just getting some shots of it. Oh, are you? Yeah, no, you're good. You're good. I, I already, I already got it done. All right, cool, man. I appreciate it. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, you just leave it anywhere, and then through. Yep. Exactly. Just right there. You gotta have an app, yeah. Okay. Yep. It it's fun. Yeah. Cool, man. Yeah, take Enjoy. it Enjoy. <laughs> you just saw the beauty of the scooter in action. That guy, I was taking shots with the slider, getting nice shots, and he's like, hey, you using that? And I'm like, well, not anymore. 
it's all yours. And so he just got on the app, paid, boom, he's gone. He gone. He gone. All right. Now I'm going home. Oh my gosh. Don't forget the slider. That was crazy. Traffic is bad. Denver, where I live, is booming. It's growing. It's going crazy. Bonkers. Lots of construction. Lots of new people moving to Denver. I think a half a million people have moved to Denver in the last like six years. I think that's the number that I heard last. So we're booming, we're growing, and that means the road space, the parking space, oh, the parking. The parking is getting a little crazy, a little expensive, a little hard to find. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But we all have to commute, right? And we choose different modes of commuting. <laughs> So folks, I believe the electric scooter, kind of like Uber and Lyft, is actually going to take over American cities. I'm not exaggerating, like just watching people take these scooters out and about, and it was crazy. Like, and the other, so I rode the Lime today, the Lime is the company, the other competing company, in Denver at least, is called Bird. Bird and Lime, Lime and Bird, all right? And so it'll be interesting to see as these two companies kind of forge the way just like we saw Uber and Lyft do, what, gosh, seven years ago, six, I don't even know. When did they launch? When did they launch? So my initial impressions of the Lime scooter was awesome. Like the app was easy to download, to set up on my phone, and you have to download the Lime app in order to connect it to the scooter. And that's how you pay for it. And it's a dollar to start the scooter and then 15 cents for every minute thereafter. And so if your commute is three miles or less, I think this could be a very effective way to get to your work. If it's over three miles, that might be a little long, uh, but what was cool is that on the app that you're, you're looking for your, your scooter that you're gonna rent for the next 30 minutes, it shows the battery life of that particular scooter right on your phone. And so you don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, is the battery on this scooter gonna die as I'm going to work? It just shows you right there on the app. And as I was riding, it was amazing. I, I got a notification from the Lime app telling me that the battery on my scooter was getting a little low and it was fine. Like I made it back to my car, no problem, but was it, that's like a, that's a pretty cool feature. Overall, all I'm saying guys, watch out. And that's the question of the day. Are these electric scooters in your city? You know, I don't think they're in small towns yet, but wherever you live, whatever big city you live in, and I don't know if they're outside the United States yet, but I think they are going to compete a little bit with Uber and Lyft for very short trips in the city. And also those e-bikes that you check out from those stations. I hate to say it, but those e-bikes, like, you know, you have to check it into and out of a, a station. But these scooters, you don't have, you just leave them right there on the street. You don't have to check it in anywhere. And then uh, someone comes and picks them up and charges them. It's amazing. It's amazing. But my only critique is that it was a little difficult to find a scooter it took me about eh, about 10 minutes of walking around and that's I would say because I didn't quite understand how the app worked and they need to they just need more scooters out on the streets so that's my only critique I think it'll get better as more scooters show up on the streets of Denver but I think these scooters might catch on so it's gonna be interesting to watch that's it that's all I got for you today seek beauty work hard scooter on and love each other see you tomorrow